thanks for stopping by. It's MJ and we are going to be doing this fun, summery, rainbow unicorn eye look with pink eyeliner and teal eyeliner and pink shadow and gold shadow and all the shadow. All of it. So hang out, stand by for a little bit. I hope you enjoy it. Please let me know the things that you want to try. If you have any questions about products, comment below. Also, it never hurt anybody to hit that subscribe button or hit that like button. Or is it the other way around? I don't know. But I really appreciate you coming by. Thank you so much for stopping in. Stay tuned to see how I get this look. Now that I've pulled back my hair, I'm going to pop my base on for the day. So I've already prepped my skin with toner and now I'm going to be using this REN REN Clean Skin Care Instant Firming Beauty Shot. This stuff is supposed to plump up your skin. Oh my God. It just gave me like 30 servings in like one pump. So let's see if I can suck some of this back into here. I'm going to be really firm. Oh my god, it smells so good. It's like hyacinth. Sorry guys, you don't need to see me rubbing down my girls with the firming solution. It's not it's not what this YouTube channel is about, but I'm sure there's plenty out there. I took too long apparently to uh, start filming because my damp beauty blender's not damp. So I'll be right back. air conditioner my husband installed in my office. It's amazing. I've never had one before. So I've been on a huge silver eyebrow kick because my hair in the summer is kind of pastel-y from all the sun that I get. It tends to fade out and stuff like that. And if my eyebrows are a little bit faded looking, they're a little more cohesive. So I'm just using a Giordana, which is a drugstore brand of eyeliner in silver and it's a kind of a creamy formula and I'm just filling in the natural shape of my eyebrows. I'm going to use my NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in Milk because it's iconic and amazing to do a base for my eyeshadow. So this little thing here is my own little DIY. I took a sponge that was kind of dead on one end but okay on the other end and I crimped it into a dead eyeliner pencil or eyeliner. I think this is actually a C-shaped shadow pencil. And I'm using this spongy little brush thing to blend in my eye pencil. Now starting with L'Oreal Infallible Pressed Powder in Iced Latte, perfect for summer. I'm going to be taking this and blowing it, blowing it, blending it across my entire lid. Today we're going for kind of a 90s summer look because it's 90s degrees outside. So going to be using L'Oreal Infallible in Amber Rush. This is their rose gold color. That took me like two solid weeks to track it down. I'm going to be taking this on another fluffy brush that I usually use as my blending brush. I'm 
I'm going on the outside corner, up and in. I'm now gonna be using this NYX Ultra Pearl in no name color. And I'm using a short, stiff brush to track this across and under. This is not quite what I want, so we're gonna adapt it. That's my I don't know what I'm looking for hands. I'm gonna take my fluffy brush and just blend all of this together so it's nice. I'm gonna dampen a short stiff brush. I'm just using actually some of my makeup setting spray to do this and ew there's gross stuff coming off of it. Always check your brushes before you put them in your shadow. Now that it's damp, I pressed it into Hard Candy's Heart and Soul, which is a pastel silvery pink. My whole lid is pink and gold and shimmery now, but I still wanna do something underneath. So what I'm gonna be grabbing is my box of super fun eyeliners. And we're gonna find a super fun eyeliner to do some under eye work with. I'm gonna use Wet n Wild's pink eyeliner in Shock Therapy, which is a super poor taste name, by the way. I think I'm gonna pause for a moment. So I am kinda doing my waterline and lower lash with a hot pink eyeliner. I have green eyes. Pinks and reds make green eyes stand out super, super bright and fun and awesome. Not every eye color is gonna look super, super bright, fun and awesome with a hot pink eyeliner. So you kinda have to adjust these kinds of looks for what works best for your face. Sometimes they end up looking like super red, like you're high or had a bad night or whatever. Um, my mom has these beautiful, beautiful chocolatey eyes and she could not rock pink eyeliner. I'm gonna be using Prestige Total Intensity Against All Odds Liquid Ink Eyeliner. It says shake well before use, and this is in the color All Nighter, which is a bright navy blue. I'm gonna be finishing this off with my Marcel Waterproof Eyeliner in the color Blue Lagoon. my opinion, anytime you do a super bright over the top eyeliner, it's a look that calls for a ton of mascara. So I loaded up on my Ulta Volume Mascara and I am gonna use my Great Lash Special Edition Teal Appeal and do my lower lashes. Now, because my face is usually fairly pale and I've got some whatever that was going on on my chin, I'm gonna try to keep the rest of my face fairly neutral. So I'm just doing some cleanup right now, making sure everything looks good. I'm gonna be throwing a setting powder, just the New York Color $3 setting powder into the lid.
and a teensy beansy touch of highlight with my just standard Ulta illuminating powder in Yellow Diamond. No more blush, no more eyes, a little bit of setting spray, and some lips. I have a whole bunch of these artsy fartsy sea sponges, um, and they're fantastic for getting foundation off your lips. They're also good for like cleaning your brushes and things like that, but they exfoliate your lips just a little bit. I'm going to be using my absolute favorite nude lip liner. This is the Ulta Contour Pencil. They're like $4. Sometimes you get them on sale like two for one. And this is the color Flesh. I'm going to be topping this off with my Ulta Mineral Lip Gloss. It was a sampler. It is the color sheer opal and unfortunately I've not been able to find a full size in the stores otherwise I would totally buy it I think that's good for me thanks so much for coming by if you like this look and you want to see more like it please tell me if this is something that you don't like and you like more neutral looks tell me that too I'm probably still gonna do some rainbow unicorn shit though thanks so much for coming by guys hey YouTube family I just wanted to check in with you on a wear test for this so my friend went into labor and I went to the birth of her child. This is about 16 to 18 hours of wear and I still have both my eyeliners on, my eyeshadow still looks fresh, my mascara still looks good, and my foundation under my eyes, other than the tired bags, is still looking good. So A++ for wear test on this.